Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Y'all remember my friend Heidi and today we're going to do a favorites video. This will be for the month of May 2014. So first thing I'm going to talk about is this Milani Power Lip Lasting and Moisturizing Gloss Stain and it's in the color Pink Lemonade. It has a brush applicator. It twists up. Um, looks like that. And I love it. It lasts a very long time. Next, I have this MAC Fix Plus Spray. Everybody and their mama knows what this is. Um, it's just a spray. You can use this before you apply your makeup, or you can use it after you apply your makeup. You can even use it halfway through the day if you want to. So, MAC Fix Plus. Does it work as a setting spray? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that's what I use it for sometimes. Yeah, you can use really... it to, um, you can use it as a setting spray, you can use it as a primer, you can use it to mix your eyeshadows, you can use it for, um, Pigments, you can use it for all kinds of stuff. Oh. I'm gonna feed you, just calm down. I have a Baby Lips Doctor Rescue. I've never tried the Doctor Rescue line. Yes, Is it you Menti? Have. Not the Doctor Rescue. You told me you're the one that told me to get this. I don't think I have one of the Doctor Rescue, do I? Yes, you told me to get it. You said it works so good. Kinda smells remember. like um Vicks and Vapor rub. Yeah, it's mint it's ment mentholatum, whatever you call menthol? it. Menthol. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what flavor is that one? Cool Crave. But it doesn't really have much color. But I yeah. like just using it. Like, but it says you can't use it for more than four times a day. Or what? You tell me. <laughs> In the comments below, if you guys ever use the Doctor Rescue and had any problems with it, let us know. I've used it like ten times in a day, and nothing really happened. It probably might dry your lips out, maybe, since it's got all that menthol stuff in it. I don't know. Um, the next thing that I have is this Maybelline Fit Me mm -hmm. Concealer in Fair, and it's... Can you stop? <laughs> I'm just trying to say it, okay. Oh my god. Hey, baby. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Okay. And it's pretty full coverage, and... A lot of people talk about the Fit Me yeah, Concealer. Yeah, and I love it. It doesn't really so crease a lot. So I'm definitely going to get it again. Okay, next thing I really have um, been enjoying is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. And the color I have is 210 Sun Beige. And I really do like this. I believe this is a take on the uh, Urban Decay Naked. And I like it. It's very lightweight. I almost felt like I had nothing on my skin, but it's medium to full coverage if you build it up. So, what brand is it? Revlon. Oh. So, yeah, there it is. The next thing that I have is this Aveeno BB Cream in Fair to Light. And I didn't know they had a BB Cream. You didn't? Mm-mm. And it's... I like it. I've is been it using like it a lot. Is it like coverage, kind of? Kind of. If you build it up, maybe? Yeah. Well, it's a BB Cream, so it's yeah, not really... Yeah, so... But the but Garnier kinda, Fruit, Fruit um, Tease one is pretty, like, full coverage really? for a BB Cream. Mm -hmm. But it does have, like, shimmer in it. Uh, so I don't, that's the only thing I dislike about it. Is it long lasting? Not really, but I haven't worn it like now. <clears throat> okay, the next thing I have is the Benefit, um, the Porefessional uh, Face Primer. And I do like this. It's a flesh toned primer. And to me, I think it, um, I don't know if you guys can see that. But to me, I feel like it mattifies my skin more than it minimizes my pores, which I like because I have very oily skin. That is my skin type, so yeah. The next thing that I have is this e.l.f. powder brush, and I love it. Do you have and this? It's, and it's cheap, yeah, too. It's like yeah, it's like $3. Yeah, I think and all the e.l.f. brushes are the like black really ones. good. Yeah, the professional line. Yes. Yeah. No, this isn't the professional it's line. It's not the professional line? No, the white ones say the professional line, which seems weird. What's the black ones called? Essential, maybe? Oh, I don't know. But the, yeah, the ones with the black handle yeah. are really good brushes. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, next thing I have is this Ulta Minerals Powder Foundation. Uh, I'm in the color Warm 03, and especially during these hotter months, you know, we live here in Florida, it's very humid this is way better than wearing any kind of liquid or cream on my skin so ulta minerals powder foundation 
The next Good thing stuff. that I have is this Maybelline color tattoo eyeshadow. Yeah, These it's are a cream eyeshadows. shadows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, I love it. It's in painted purple, and I use it as a liner. Yeah. And it lasts forever. Yeah, I love all the color tattoos, and yeah. they have so, so many colors. And they stay all day. If you're looking for something to wear to, like, the pool or the beach, check you out some of that color tattoo because it's good stuff. All right, next I have this NYX push-up bra. Um, it's a push-up bra for your eyebrows. So on one end it has a brow pencil, and on the other end it has a highlighter. So I really like, I really use the highlighter more than I use the brow pencil. I use it up underneath my brow bone and I just blend it out with my finger or a brush. And then I don't have to apply anything if I don't want to. You can also use it on top of your brows to help outline, outline your eyebrows to make it even look more defined if you want. But yep, it's pink. Nice. It's pink tone, but once you blend it out, it, it's like more like a flesh tone color. Mm -hmm. You can't really see it, I don't think. But, yeah. Um, the next thing that I have is Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express in Blackest Black, and it's not water... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Girl. Oh <my> God. <laughs> you got problems. Ooh, girl, something touched me. It's probably one of them nets. <laughs> Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express, and we talked about, I talked about this in the empties video. Yep. I repurchased mm -hmm. it, and I love it. It's in Blackest Black. It's not waterproof, but I don't like waterproof formulas. Yeah. I haven't found one that I liked yet. It just has a different, like, uh, texture. texture, and it holds different, and it curls different, too, if you ask yeah, me. Yeah, so I... Is it, like, that's like lengthening, too, yeah. or just volumizing? It's both everything. Does. With that note, I'm going to jump on the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I have the uh, travel size version. Um, I've got this at Sephora, but you can get it at Ulta or anywhere they sell Benefit products. And I love this stuff. I want to get the full size. The brush is kind of weird. It has like a ball tip, kind of. I don't know how to explain that. It's got like... But I have very short eyelashes. And when I use this, um, I, I do feel like my eyes look like I'm wearing falsies. So Benefit Their Real Mascara is good stuff. It says that it's 94% um, saw dramatic length and volume, 90% saw base to tip curl. 94 saw visible lift and 100% saw long wearing results. So yeah, I of, like that one. Of I course, results it. vary, but you know, good stuff. A, a lot of people. I want to get the full yeah, size. Yeah, the Forever too. Smoky Extravagant. We got this for our it was our birthday, birthday gift. gift from yeah. Sephora, and I like it a lot. I feel like it gives me the same results I get from this, so I probably won't purchase get the it full because size. it's expensive. Yeah, but the wand is weird it's like a teardrop like yeah. an upside down teardrop yeah it is kind of weird shape yeah but overall it's good heck yeah okay the next thing i'm going to talk about is this milani easy brow pencil it's retractable it's water resistant um the color i have is dark brown oh, it looks like this right here and it has a spoolie on the end of it and I, I prefer to use a powder on my eyebrows just because I, I like mine to look more natural. Um, I don't like the look of drawn they, eyebrows. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I really prefer a, um, powder. a powder. But this one is good if you use it light, you know, light handedly and make sure you use the spoolie to comb out your brow hairs because that does help blend everything together as well. So, see, I never do brow. my eyebrow. This is the Burt's Bees Hydrating Chapstick and it is coconut and pear. Is it tinted? It tinnin? smells really, no. It's not tinted. But it smells really good. Like you can tell. Oh heck yeah! That yeah. smells like um like stuff you put on when you tan, kind of, yeah. but better. But you better. know what I'm saying? That smells really good. Yeah, and it's really good. Oh. Next thing I have is my Mac 217 brush. Um, this is an all-purpose brush. You can use this to apply shadow to your lid. You can use it to blend out your shadows in your crease. You can use it to apply shadows in your crease. You can even use this to buff underneath your lash line if you want to smoke out your look. Um, yeah, so the MAC 217 brush, you need to get your hands on this because it's it's really good. You This is like all the brush you need to do a complete really? eye look. Mm -hmm. Love this brush. Okay, so this is the eyeshadow primer. I think this is like, I think 
I got it. You know, you know how they have products. They're like, this is new when it's this much, but next time it's gonna be cheaper. No, oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So I it's think always I got this cheaper when it first, first comes, comes out. out. Yeah. So I think this was like three ninety nine when I got it, which is kind of. I mean, it doesn't have like a whole lot. But it's primer. You don't it, need a whole yeah, lot. Yeah, but it, it works a long really way. good. Like I love yeah. it. But I think now it's like five ninety nine. And anytime, you, you guys got to remember too, it's always good to use a primer because it's going to help your shadows from creasing and it's going to help it last all day. Yeah. And sometimes Brighten it can make it, it yeah, yeah, more vibrant. And I love that. <clears throat> okay, the last thing I'm going to talk about is an oldie but a goodie and it's the original Urban Decay Naked Palette. Um, even when I'm not using like bold colors, I still use this every day because for one, the Naked and Buck are really good crease and like transition colors so no matter what look I'm doing I always come to this palette for those two shadows so yeah Urban Decay Naked love it next I have a palette too and it's the Too Faced chocolate bar palette and first off it smells really good you want to bite it it smells like chocolate yeah like it <laughs> smells really good but it has the only thing I dislike about it is this the names oh, yeah. Yeah. like that's the only because thing if I you lose it. this then you don't is even, it on the back no you yeah. don't even know what if you, you lose the plastic sheet you're screwed then you have and this one's only forty nine dollars so it's like three dollars cheaper than the naked palette <laughs> Which is but you get more. That, yeah. You get more. But I have used this like literally every like my makeup has been the same. So many but I've looks. only done like the same look. Which the ones entire do you month. Use? Those three. Oh yeah. Yeah. So literally like You probably I've used it, it so much. You'll probably hit pan on it like yeah. before the year's over. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was our 2014 May um, favorites video. If you have any questions about any of the products, leave those questions in the comment comments. section below. Uh, give the uh, video a thumbs up if you enjoyed our um, little favorite thing that we had going on, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.